Hello everybody, we're here with Darren Eden today who is a master of intuition and teaches people how to live intuitively. He gives workshops in applied practical magic and has come from Australia. So Darren, welcome. Thank you. This is the first time in history that an intuitive session has ever been filmed. Oh. Isn't that amazing? So I just, I honestly have to honour your courage and your vulnerability and your, um, you know, just willingness to explore. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Mm. Bring it on. Basically, what we're going to do is, um, you know, to me, in, intuition, first of all, what is it? Um, I assume that we're all intuitive. It's, it's inherent in who we are, um, in that we are naturally intuitive beings. In being intuitive beings, we're divine beings. We're divine, magnificent spiritual beings, mm -hmm. which I know is something you live by. Um, but we're also human beings. And where our, in our divinity we communicate naturally with our intuition, through our humanity we actually predominantly communicate through our thoughts and feelings. And I work with the premise that our thoughts and feelings aren't inherent, they're actually fabricated and they come from core beliefs that we formed in childhood. Mm -hmm. um, and so as a result, our thoughts and feelings tend to be a lot louder than our intuition. And all I do is help people decrease the volume on their thoughts and feelings. Exactly, it's just like a mixing mm -hmm. desk and increase the volume on your, um, on your intuition. Mm -hmm. Or another way of putting it is where you, our thoughts and feelings are in the foreground and our intuition is in the background. It's just a matter of moving your thoughts and feelings to the background and your intuition to the foreground. So way it. The way it works is when we're predominantly living out of our thoughts and feelings and from our beliefs, we've actually um, not only just fabricated our thoughts and feelings, we've actually fabricated an identity. And we actually go around, you know, some people call it our ego, um, I call it our identity. And we go around thinking that's who we are. Mm. And we start and we build a whole life based on um, who we think we are based on these thoughts and feelings which are fundamentally built on these beliefs formed in childhood. Um, whereas what I teach people to do in, in getting in touch with their intuition, your intuition reveals who you really are as a divine being in a physical body. And as a divine being, you have things that you love, you have gifts, you have inherent abilities. Um, and also what comes with that as a divine being, we're connected to everything. And um, because we're beings, as divine beings, we're actually beings of love. And when you distill it down, everything is love. And yeah. we end up mm -hmm. being connected as a being of love with love. And we get connected with what it is that we really love, what it is that we really cherish. And what your intuition does is it reveals what it is that you really love and reveals what to do to go about creating it directly because you're already connected to what you love. And the, what happens is, and this is where the magic comes in, is that your intuition um, kind of taps into the inner wisdom that can lead you on the direct path and so it can inform you of direct action to take to create what you love once it's revealed to you. But because we're, we're already inherently connected to everything, it sometimes, just by connecting to it, it can you know, turn on what people are calling the law of attraction and magically things can be attracted to you. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes we've got to actually act on our inner wisdom and take steps before that magic will be turned on. It's like a threshold we have to cross. But sometimes, just by accessing your intuition and being um, connected to what you love, it gets drawn to you. Now, I assume you work with two groups of people. One, the people who are not familiar with this concept mm. and who are still looking to understand what it is that they love and what that means to create from love. And then the second group of people who are very much connected to that and live from there mm, and maybe absolutely. even teach that. So mm. this, it's, it's basically what I do in my work mm. and it's why I followed the, the path of an artist first and now of a coach. Mm. Um, so how do, you, how do you work with both of these groups of people? Um, basically using the same methods really. When people aren't really connected to their intuition or what they love, what the work does is connect them to it, mm -hmm. get turned on by it, and then move towards it. Whereas someone like yourself, who's already aware of what you love, intuition enhances it even more, gives you even greater perspective, greater vision, Fantastic. greater, deeper connection 
So the same tools will apply to beginners absolutely. and advanced. Oh, absolutely. Because the thing is, just the, the notion of beginners and advanced doesn't really apply when it comes to intuition because it goes back to the initial premise that we're all intuitive. Mm -hmm. Like when I first came across this work, I didn't think I had an intuitive bone in my body. Now I lived, I was like a walking head. <laughs> this, this is where I live. My body just um, was, my purpose of my body was to take my head from A to B. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. whereas um, since I've been um, in, in connection with my in, intuition, it's like that's just one part of me. You know, I'm a whole being now, you know, as opposed to this thing that just thinks. <laughs> so um, so there's, that's a bit of a frame up for you. Um, so what I wanted to do today is give you an experience of it. Um, and there's a couple of frameworks, just to add more clarity to it. Um, what I call our divinity, I call that our greatness. And what I call, and I've already said that what I call, that our ego, I call that our identity. So in what I, you know, the premise work, the way the premise works is that we're all inherently schizophrenic in the sense that there's a, we have a greatness and we have an identity. What if you have more than one identity? Well, that's the thing is that sometimes we do. Sometimes the identity can think it's all these different things. But when you distill it down, all those different things are still coming from different beliefs, which all still make up this one being called our identity. Um, and it's funny because in reality, we are just greatness. I but, like that. <laughs> but that's, that's the reality yeah. of it. But we, in our greatness, we've formed our identity to actually have an individual experience of our greatness. But along the way, we forgot about that. And we actually think that we're our identity and we forgot mm -hmm. about our inherent greatness. And if anything, the work that I do is to, and, um, is to help people realize that they are, who they really are is great, not just this identity. And once you realize um, this inherent greatness, you realize that your identity is one aspect of your greatness. It's mm -hmm. one facet of the diamond, so to speak. Whereas when we're our identity, that's, that's it. Because we actually assume that we're separate from everything when we're in our identity, but when we're in our greatness, we're connected. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's your greatness and then there's your identity, okay? Um, so what I want to do today is is do, is do connect with um, our both our intuition and lead you through relationship to something that you love, um, mm -hmm. like an end result that you want to create, something that you want to do. Um, and what we'll do is look at it from the perspective of your greatness, Mm -hmm. um, and then what we'll do is look at what's your identity's relationship with that. Where are you now in relationship to it? What does your identity make up about it? Because it's a really good thing to see because what our identity does, it's like a false friend. It tries to help us very meaningfully yeah, yeah. to I try to get there. And all yeah. it does is just take us off track all the time. Because yeah. um, it's constantly asking how, how, how. And it either knows how and it tries to convince you how. And meanwhile, we go, oh, okay, because we listen to our thoughts and feelings and then we go off track. Mm. Or it doesn't know how and gives up or doesn't try. Or but thinks... There's all sorts of things to us inside. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Exactly. And it thinks the thing that we love is impossible mm. and doesn't do it. And comes oh, up I know compromise. about that one. Yes. Yeah. And then what we'll do is, having looked at what your greatness is, um, loves and what your identity is making up about it, is then we'll tune into what are the direct steps you can take. And it goes back to what I was saying before, is your intuition actually reveals the direct action to take, which will lead you to what you love. Let's do it.